Slap some bacon on a biscuit and let's go. We're burning daylight. Silver fans, this is T, and you're in the right parts for silver edumacation, acquisition, and good old fashioned entertainment. I travel all over Tarnation making coin shop videos like this one. And then, if that's something you're partial to, crack that old subscribe button over yonder. We're about to visit my old buddy Josh and his brand new coin shop in Chesterton, Indiana. Hey Josh, uh, thanks for welcoming me to your uh, new shop, buddy. Thanks for stopping by, T. I'm glad to have you. Yeah, congratulations. The last time I talked to you, you were at uh, Rich's place in uh, Crown Point. That's our main hub in Crown Point. That'll yeah. always be our, our main baby. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, this has been a venture of mine for at least two years now. Um, and we finally were able to find the spot and location we wanted in Chesterton. And here we are starting our journey. Yeah. Uh, the place looks wonderful. I panned around uh, at the beginning of the video, but uh, why don't you tell the, the the audience a little bit about the cabinets and the cool stuff you have in here. So the decor I was going for and the theme of the shop was more of a western old time saloon feel. So I found uh, original hardwood showcases that were dated at least 1920s and older. Um, some of the cases the lady had told me um, were 100 plus years and she was 80 years herself. <laughs> so even the sticker, that O. Henry five cent sticker was uh, 50 plus years, she said. Wow. Um, original glass. <clears throat> and so you just don't see cabinets like this and, and the themes like the old fashioned saloon. And I just wanted to bring it back a little bit. And well, it's a it's a cool cool thing that you know is embrace you're, you're, the heritage <laughs> of the coins and the currency of our past. Uh, you're located located inside of a strip mall, but you walk in and you've got that old time vibe, which is cool. It's a neat contrast. Thank you, thank you. These cases are uh, filled with stuff. Where did this stuff come from? So this has been. Um, essentially my labor of love that I've been collecting for at least six plus years um, of my own stuff, stuff that I've liked, stuff that I've got good deals on, stuff that I knew I wouldn't see around, um, stuff that my kids liked uh -huh. was another thing. Um, is it difficult uh, to put it in a case uh, and uh, put a price tag <laughs> on it or is it? It is, but at the end of the day, we got to realize we're in business to sell and buy. And in order for me to buy, I need to sell and vice versa. So um, I'm happy to share my collection because if someone wants to buy it, that means they appreciate the collection just as much as I do. Well, that's a great point. And uh, you know, it's one step backwards, but I'm sure many steps forward because uh, this is an area that uh, I don't know of any other coin shops around the area and probably a community that once they find you, uh, will, uh, you know, you'll have some regulars start showing up uh, in no time. That's what I was hoping for. Um, again, with it being convenient on the highway, we can also get traffic coming from Illinois or Michigan because uh -huh. um, they're 45 minutes each way. Uh -huh. um, and we're happy to help people anywhere at any of our locations the same way i just found this one being convenient and like you pointed out no other locations really around within 30 minutes or so so yeah uh, you've got a good selection of uh, numismatics uh, bullion semi-numismatic uh, do you have a particular specialty or over the years have you just kind of learned about everything um, yeah, I've learned a little bit about everything, but my specialty would be more of the bullion and the specially collectible bullion, um, low mintage stuff. Uh, again, stuff you really don't see and you'd either have to be a collector um, yourself of those items or um, appreciate what it is to kind of want it. And when did you actually open the doors? 
So we opened officially October 3rd, it was Monday. Okay. And uh, has anybody uh, found their way into the to the shop here? Yeah, we actually had three customers today uh -huh. uh, locate us off of Google. One of them had been a customer from our Crown Point location, but they live out here closer uh -huh. to this shop. So uh -huh. just visiting and checking us out. So Very cool. And uh, you've got some really interesting things. Thank I'll be you. honest with you, I've never been in a shop and seen a gold tooth like that before. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one of a kind. That's why I put it out for display because we do buy gold teeth caps and full gold teeth, but I've never seen a gold teeth cap with a complete tooth in it. <laughs> um, and so again, it kind of just went with my saloon western decor of someone getting their teeth pulled for money. Uh, you know, you never know. That, that, or that could have come from a Ger German sh soldier back in the day. I know my grandpa who was in World War II told me some stories about sure. how they would harvest those gold teeth. Well, even back in the Western, if they had to duel out in the, the streets, you know, whatever the person that deceased was on the ground was up for the takings, including the teeth. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Somehow I don't think you've solved my problem. Solving your problems isn't our line. We deal in lead, friend. So, hey, why the Western theme? Uh, is that just a genre you've always, always liked? Yeah, it's all, I've always been into it. My grandparents always uh, got me into those uh, Clint Eastwoods. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns and those who dig. You dig. And, uh... And again, just Morgan's being from the, the dated time, you know, the tombstone, the OK Corral, mm -hmm. uh, 1800s period, I just, again, thought it seemed fit to, uh, to stay with the time period stuff. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what, I love those Morgans, man. Uh, and I, I do my best to, uh, you know, stack for weight, but, you know, sometimes you see those Morgans, you can't, you just can't pass them up. Correct, yeah. <laughs> Um, matter of fact, I used to be able to buy them for 20, 25 bucks regularly. Yeah. Um, and what's the going rate these days? Typically they're going to be around, I mean, your calls are going to be around $30 now. So okay. your lowest grade kind of slicked to where you can barely read the dates are going to be around at $30. And then you can go again, depending on date condition, all the way up to a couple hundred uh, dollars easily. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a nice 1881 O toned uh, that I've got for like 150 bucks. Okay. So, and, and for you know a smaller shop, it, your stuff is pretty condensed, but you've got a ton here. It's it's quite amazing what you can actually fit into these shelves. Yeah, that that's again the, the nice thing about these old showcases that they were eight foot long. Uh -huh. um, unlike this typical one that I'm here at, that's only a six footer. Uh -huh. You can really stack a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Well, Josh, hey, I really appreciate uh, the opportunity to check out your new place. I think it's amazing. I think uh, I love the theme, and I think uh, the folks here in Chesterton and beyond are going to find you real soon, and uh, this place is going to be hopping probably by the next time I come in here. Well, it's a pleasure having you. Always great seeing you, and hopefully we'll see you back in the future. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for the time, buddy. Take care. Okay guys, hey, let me show you the fistful of silver that I picked up at Josh's place. But first, a thank you to my channel members and thank you for watching. And it is now time to reveal what I purchased. Hey, just to round things off, I put, picked up a little bit of constitutional or junk silver, but check this out. This is really cool. The right to a trial by jury. Look at the other side though, Johnson Manthe, old school, cool vintage round another cool vintage bar here silvertown gotta love it uh from winchester indiana and hey happy wife happy life i picked up a little piece for my wife uh her nickname is sharky <laughs> that's a, a childhood nickname and hey something for myself here take a look at this you see a libertad you pick it up when you can and because you don't see these uh, come around very often in uh, your coin shops or elsewhere. And I have to say that Josh's new shop in Chesterton is quite the honey hole. It is a great privilege to uh, take a look at his collection and walk out with some pieces for myself. Two.